Explanations were over, the worst was known. Reminiscent of another great hour, Britain got down to the job. Yet the nation's affairs reflected a resilient people to whom ordinary events still mattered. At Brighton, there was time to honour a great man who also once faced a national crisis. While the party he leads talked politics, Winston Churchill received the freedom of Brighton. A guard of honour of the Royal Sussex Regiment was drawn up for his inspection. As warden of the Sink Ports, Mr Churchill is an honorary colonel of the 5th Battalion. One hundred thousand people cheered the war leader as he drove through the streets on his way to the dome. Inside the Great Hall, the thoughts of the three thousand men and women present flew back to 1940 when one man rallied Britain and the world. We find ourselves confronted with very hard times, said Mr. Churchill, and concluded, It uh, is quite certain uh, that we shall uh, need all our endurance, fortitude, all our civic knowledge and social discipline and initiative in order to escape from the difficulties which now uh, surround us. Brighton's honour was symbolic. It was a people's thanks to a great figure. How great was a matter for history. <laughs>